Hello everyone, this is Jay Haskamp and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we are going to go over some of the layer management tools in uh, Trimble Business Center. Um, nowadays, people are having to deal more and more with layer management in, uh, in TBC. Uh, we're seeing people working with DWG and DXF files that have different layers and colors, um, working with shape files, and also doing uh, feature code collection with line work and attributes and, and things like that in the field. So working with some of these complex uh, data sets, there's more and more of a need to, uh, to have proper layer management. So. Um, as you're beginning your uh, data preparation or maybe you're cleaning up your data to send down to a third party um, client or a draftsman or something like that, we just want to make sure that our data is well organized by layer. So uh, one, some of the things we can do, uh, we can create and delete individual layers, um, we can rename layers, purge all empty layers, uh, review specific objects by choosing their layer, and also uh, layer properties. They allow us to change uh, layer colors, uh, line styles, and maybe distinguish more easily between um, data on different layers. So let's take a look at an example project and, and work with some of these tools to see how this is done. Okay, so here we have a project that has just some different uh, different types of data in it. We have some uh, road edges, center lines, contours, building pads, things like that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some tools in here to just kind of show you some different uh, some different ways we can manage layers in Trimble Business Center. So to begin, what we're going to do first is we're going to select the view pane. And then under the panes uh, group here, we're going to choose manager for the view filter manager. Now in the view filter manager, we have a couple of things we can do. First thing we want to do here is we're more interested in the layers um, than anything else in this in this menu right now. So first we're going to just collapse the raw data, the photogrammetry, and the flags groups down. So we just have our layers group isolated. Now on the top, there is a zoom extents button. So when we start changing uh, views or filters in the view filter manager with this zoom extents button selected, it's going to automatically zoom my uh, my plan view, um, the zoom in or out based on what I have displayed or what I what I'm working with. So if we keep that uh, selected here, it'll kind of dynamically change the the zoom level or the view based on what I'm looking at. Now what we can do is we can filter our view um, by the layer that we want to work with. So what I mean by that is I can pick any of these layers in the list here. For example, let's choose uh, center line and I can right click and I can select view only this. And what that does is notice it turns every other layer off and it isolates only the layer that I have selected. Again, if I want to maybe look at my uh, 10 foot contours, right click, view only this and now it switches to my contour layer. So um, it's just another way to turn individual layers um, on or off, maybe to isolate layers and to work with specific data sets, or just to do like a QA, QC and make sure we know um, specific things are, are on the correct layer. Uh, another tool that we have, I'm going to just turn these all back on. And another tool we have in the View Filter Manager is the Isolate Layer icon, and that's right next to the Zoom Extents um, icon here. So if I turn that on, notice now all these checkboxes are grayed out. Now what this does is only objects on the layers that I select are, are visible. So it's kind of similar to the last, um, the last tool, but if I choose Electrical, notice it's blank. If I choose pads, you see I have pads here, and I can kind of pick through these. I can also use my up and down arrow keys to just scroll through my layer list and see everything that is on the specific layers in my list. And again, this is with the isolate layer box checked. All right, so one of the layers we're going to specifically look at is the roads layer. Notice when I choose roads down here, I do have my road edges, but it looks like I have one of the building pads that are supposed to be on a different layer on this roads layer. So we need to move this object to the pads layer to, uh, to manage our data a little bit better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select this pad from the screen and then I'm going to also click the zoom extents and the isolate layer icon on the top. Now notice that everything else comes back on when I uncheck the isolate layer 
uh, icon right here, but my pad still uh, still stays selected. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is in just in my plan view with this pad selected, I'm going to right click and select properties and this is going to now bring up the properties for this selected pad. Notice here I can see um, the line style, the, the uh, scale, weight, color, that type of thing but right here I have my layer and it's under roads. What I need to do is I need to pick this little down arrow here and change this to pads. Now I've changed this pad here from the roads layer to the proper pads layer where it needs to be. One of the other things that I noticed when we were going through here, and I'll just show you again if I pick isolate layers and go to this uh, def points layer, notice it's empty. So if it's empty, I'm not going to use it. It's not really doing me any good, so I want to get rid of that. So what I can do here is, is under the view filter manager, if I right click on the def points layer and I choose layer options from my pull down list, now I have the layer options pane here on the right hand side. This is the place I can basically create new layers. I can select a specific layer and I can change the color and the line style. Basically it's like my layer manager um, tool in TBC. Now the def points layer here is one that's empty and I don't want it. So if I want to remove a layer that I'm not going to use, up here there's a delete selected layers icon. Now when I choose that, you can see it removes the def points layer from the list. I just want to make one note. Um, typically you want to make sure that all of your objects are on the correct layers before you start deleting any of the empty layers. Otherwise you may uh, have to recreate layers that you thought were unneeded and things like that. Now it, back in the layer options pane uh, we can just go through and just kind of double check and make sure that all of our layers um, the names are right, the colors are right, and the, and the, you know, the line weights and things like that are correct. Um, Optionally, another thing you can do is uh, rename any layers that maybe are unclear so their names make more sense and uh, indicate what type of data is on the layer. Um, just a couple tips, keep the names as short and as straightforward as you can so when you send the data out to the controller or even some type of machine control in the field, um, that operator, if it's not you, somebody else using it can, can readily identify each object. Okay, that concludes our uh, tech talk on some of the layer management tools that we can use in Trimble Business Center. Uh, we hope that you found this session uh, beneficial, and we'll join us again next time. Thank you.